Hello Fantasy Faithfuls and welcome to the second team score projection video of 2018 featuring the Los Angeles Rams. The players I will be focusing on are Jared Goff, Tor Gurley, Cooper Cup, Brandon Cooks, Tyler Higbee, Robert Woods and Gerald Everett. First off, we need to know how many targets and carries the players will have to share in 2018. To arrive at these numbers, I've analyzed the opponents' play trends from the last two years. The Rams are playing teams that collectively give up the second least amount of passes in the entire league. Combining this with the team's own play trends, we get a total of 401 rush attempts and 511 pass attempts. By analyzing the Rams' play calling from the last couple of years, they usually target the number one receiver with 19% of all targets, while giving Gurley as many targets as the third wide receiver. The number one back usually has 64% of the market share when it comes to carries, while the second back only gets 12%. Gets into it. Bird down at two. Goff looking to throw for the first time. To the end zone for a Rams touchdown. It's first off, we need to take a look at Jared Goff. He will have 511 pass attempts and only 28 carries. Breaking down his passing for his own projections, but also for everyone that catches the football, we see a bunch of shorter passes with an emphasis on the right side of the field. His completion percentage is actually very disappointing when you compare him to the rest of the league. He is way below league average in every zone. If he can bring that up, his fantasy stats would greatly improve and so would it for the rest of his receivers. His yards per completion is very high in the deepest zones, while the shorter ones are below league average. This will help a player like Brandon Cooks when racking up yards since he sees most of his targets in the deeper zones. Goff also throws slightly less touchdown than the league average with a 4.5% touchdown rate. From his own passing, the pass catcher's abilities, his rushing trends and opponents' playing style, we arrive at a score projection. Goff will score 142 points from his passing, 10 from rushing, 106 from touchdowns, and 231 in total. For the Rams with the two. And Goff's going to give it to Gurley, trying to get to the edge, and Gurley gets there. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Next up is Todd Gurley with 257 carries and a massive 66 targets in 2018. Breaking down his rushing to seven running lanes, we see that 33% of all his carries goes to either side of the center, while only 8% goes outside the right end. His yards per carry are the highest when he runs outside the left tackle, Andrew Whitworth, who was brought in for the 2017 season. His worst lane is between the right guard and the right tackle, which might be a spot for a third round pick, Joe Noteboom. Be careful on counting on Gurley early on in the season. He averages 1.2 yards per carry less in September compared to other months. Same can be said about him in games. He needs the first quarter to get gold. His touchdown rate since entering the league has been 3.8% and I expect it to stay roughly the same with a slight negative regression compared to last year. Looking at his receiving, we see that he's a very good pass catcher, hauling in way above 50% of all of his targets to all short shows. He also has amazing yards per catch, 66 targets almost does not seem enough for him. From his own rushing, receiving, team's blocking abilities and golf's passing trends and the opponents in 2018, I project Gurley to score 115 points from the ground, 36 points from the air, 72 points from touchdowns, and 224 in total. Goff, end zone for Cooper Cup. He has the catch, but he is in for a touchdown. That's... The Rams have a bunch of pass catchers that will see decent amounts of targets, but nothing too amazing. From the Rams market share, Cooks will see 97 targets, Cup 92, Robert Woods 66, but this can change of course depending on who they view as a second target, 66 to Higby and 31 for Everett. 
Cooks and Cup stays even in catches with 58 and 54, which is predicted to catch 40. Higby, 35, and Everett, only 16. From the catches, Cooks will only gain 672 yards. Cup will gain slightly more with 683. Woods, 481. Higby, 390. And Everett, 182. Not great numbers from any of them, but this is due to the spreading of targets and amount of market share going to Gurley. I project their touchdowns as follow. 4, 4, 3 for Woods, 2 for Higby, and 2 for Everett. I think Cooper Cup has the most value at the moment with Robert Woods being underutilized. However, if Woods can have the same amount of targets as Cooks, I still haven't projected 3 fantasy points less. Lastly, a final look at their fantasy points. Uh, Gurley is of course a stud, but I think right now for Goff, he's a little bit overdrafted for my liking. I think the receivers are going to be viable in fantasy, but only in specific weeks and not over the entire season. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more weekly content. And as always, the spreadsheets are dark and full of terror.